making a mark is to show how a simple tap from a mallet and chisel can create such wonderful three-dimensional stone carvings. A new venture, uh, a new site, an exciting adventure as it's, I have shown in ancient buildings before, but I've never been given a whole cloister area before, an anti-chapel. It's a carving rich environment, so it suits that link between the old world and the new world. And I do feel that my sculpture in particular does often look at different cross-cultural references, um, which feed into the sculptural Way I work. Cloisters are ideal because I can do it in almost decades around the cloister. So it's a chronological experience. You know, you come up through the main the main gate and you turn right and you start back in the 80s and then you file down through to the 2021. So there's about four pieces from each decade, um, which sort of crystallizes certain thought processes at that time. Early on they're more figurative. My later works have become more abstracted and organic. I hope they get some joy out of the exhibition. I hope they can reassess that what stone can do and can give as a medium of expression. Stone is still as relevant today as it was, you know, a thousand years ago.